The car has packed up. We're off again. Round four of the Southern League and Opens today. Uh, it's at Leon Solent, sort of in between Portsmouth and Southampton kind of way. Um, the first thing I need to do is get to Portsmouth. Uh, I'm going to pick up some bait from a new supplier, Solent Baits. It's actually a mail order service, but because um, I'm coming past his house, he's kindly agreed that I can go and pick it up at his house uh, to save me on delivery. Uh, and then we're going to make about another 20 minute trip to Leon Solent where the match is. Then we've got to draw our peg uh, and see how we get on today. If, if you watched the last um, video, round three, it was like 46 mile an hour winds. It was a disaster. Now, where I am at the moment, it is about 46 mile an hour winds today. Looking at the BBC weather app, when we get there, it's going to be all right. About 24, 25 mile an hour winds. Um, which is bearable. I can handle that. Uh, so we better get a move on. Right, we're here. Uh, we picked up our bait from Solent Baits. Uh, I've just had a, look, a good look at it. Uh, comes in a nice polystyrene box. Uh, it's got all the ice packs in it, so everything's nice and frozen, what needed to be frozen. Uh, the fresh rag and the, and the black lug all looks good quality, really happy with it. Um, I've just drawn uh, peg number 59. Is that good or not? I don't know. Um, the weather, it's saying 23 mile an hour winds. It feels a lot windier than that though. Um, yeah, it looks like it might be fairly challenging out there. Right, it's very windy. I've managed to get the beach shower up with the help from my neighbor, John. Without John, I would never have got it up. Uh, it's windy, it's pretty horrible. Uh, three minutes to go though. We're gonna cast out and hope for the best. Let's do this, people. The six ounce leads are holding down though. Uh, bait wise today, we've got half a pound of brag, we've got some black lugs, fresh black lugs, peeler crabs, we've got some bluey, we've got some squid, we've got a bit of everything today. Could be some smooth hounds that come out today. Even though it's very rough, you don't think it's smooth hound weather, but there were a few caught yesterday here, so you never know. Seven. We've been fishing for two hours. Um, I haven't seen a fish yet. <laughs> it's really hard. It's going to be one of those days where I just need to catch something, I think. Um, ben Arnold, about five pegs down, he has caught a form back ray of about four pounds. I believe in zone one, about a mile that way, uh, a smooth hound has been caught. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually seen a fish myself yet, and there's some top fishermen around me. So. Hopefully we'll be able to pick something up soon.
heel. Oh, undersized, isn't it? I don't know how long have they got to be. Yeah, yeah. Like I, when I saw it, I thought it got near 13 ounces. Conga. Yeah, you've got to be 58, you know. Conga. 61! Yeah, right, 61, isn't it? No! <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I'm getting fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it ain't there, is it? Still interested to see how long it is. I'll give you about 48 for it, I think. 48, you were talking about it. It's not that, because I think it's only the second pick in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got... I thought that was a silver until I had it. I thought it was until you got it out of the parking lot. I thought that's unlucky. <laughs> that's a bastard, isn't it? Someone could make you two top ups. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I'm quite happy that I've caught something. Yeah. Well, at the moment, that's worth 80 odd quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was. Depends on a riot. Yeah, he had a four pounder. Four, yeah. four to two centimetres. Yeah, Shaky's on ground and he's got some around the pocket. Oh, sorry. Uh, 87, he got £4.44 four and he got one undersized stall back, so he's got £4.5. <laughs> <laughs> we got a conga, undersized unfortunately, I thought it was a bloody silver, I'd have had 13 ounces, it's a conga. <laughs> we got ourselves a little conga, if it was a silver eel it would have been worth 13 ounces, unfortunately it's only 48 centimetres. It had to be 61 to be sizable, so unfortunately uh, it's only worth one ounce, but it's uh, saved a blank anyway. We're putting back safe and sound. <laughs> what you got? Oh, it's not a Congo, is it? Oh, it's a silver. It's a silver. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. I think it's 13 ounces, no matter what, but it says all eels, 13. Eel! Nah, proper. Proper one. Proper one. Proper one. A rare one, you don't get any of them anymore, do you? Whoa, oh, you fucking blown everyone out of water, mate. But I think that, fucking second. I think that is the only se the second sizable fish on Leon Toland. That's a proper one, that's what I wanted, that's what I thought I had when I was out until I had it in my hand. I don't know, look, I think he's an amusing crowd, yeah. I've got two O's. Two O's all night. Ten minutes left. I've not had any more fish, but the guy next to me has had a sizable smooth hound and an eel, so he's got a bit of a weight together. Uh, I'm just getting completely weeded out. But there's still ten minutes left. I'm praying, hoping that something might happen. Please. So we got home. Basically. I was kind of a little disappointed with the way things went. Obviously, I just had the one fish. Saying that, I was looking around me, not many other people were catching. Uh, Colin next to me, um, he sat there for four and a half hours without a single fish, and in the last half hour, he got that silver eel that you saw, and then he also had a sizable smooth hound, which won in the zone. So he blanked for four and a half hours, all of a sudden, he's won the zone. Well done, Colin, he was a really nice bloke as well. Um, but we had a bit of a surprise. So I got home Sunday morning. I kind of slightly disappointed. Uh, Sunday morning, I got a message from Nick, who runs the league. He said, Jimmy, I've got some prize money for you. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> and um, apparently, I had a fourth in my zone. I'm absolutely over the moon. I, I never, ever thought at the start of this year that I would get in the top four in my zone. Because it's my first full year of, of match fishing. It's one of the most competitive leagues in the UK. It's extremely tricky, you know, you're fishing against some of the best anglers in the world. Um, and what going into this year, I kind of wanted a top 40 in the league. And I came up with that by looking at past results from the last couple of years. And to come in the top 40 in the league, I think there's 112 members. Uh, to come in the top 40, you're kind of, You've got to have a couple of good results, a couple of, well, a lot of average results and a, and a couple of rubbish results. 
and you can kind of scrape into the top 40. I think that would have been successful. Um, a top 30 would be amazing at the end of the year. That, you know, that, that would be great for my first year. A great achievement, I feel. Looking at the um, league after four rounds, so I've had a 10th, a 6th, a 10th and a 6th. I'm currently sitting at 14th in the league, but actually looking, there's quite a few people on joint points. So I'm actually kind of like 12th, I think, which is remarkable. I never ever thought I would be 12th after four rounds. I'm so happy. I mean, I've not been massively successful, but what I've done is I've stuck it out and I'm kind of up there. Where I'll be at the end of the year, I don't know, but we're looking good for, we could be in the top 20 at the end of the year, which would be much higher than what I would have expected. You get your two worst results taken off at the end of the year. If there's 12 rounds, you'll have your two worst results taken off. Um, so if I take my two worst results off so far, it'd be the two temps. So I would have had a sixth and a fourth, which again is a a great, great achievement, I think. Uh, but back to the this match. Um, so there were 68 anglers fishing for four zones with 36 anglers weighing in. So only 36 anglers weighed in out of 68. I mean, that is that is hard going. Um, the sizable fish consisted of five congers, seven smooth hounds, two formbacks, three bass, three silver eels, four dogfish, two pouting, and one whiting. Um, so 74 fish were caught in total. The winner of the match was Mike Brown from Southampton with £12.15 ounces. He was in peg 49. He had um, a form back, a bass and a conga. Uh, second place was Paul Stevens from Worthing on peg 18. He was right at the other end to me with a £7.12 ounces consisting of two hounds and two top ups. Third place was Graham Woods from Western. He was on peg 38. He had five pound four ounces. Heaviest round was Mike Brown with um, the eight pound 10 ounce form back Ray, which is a good fish for a hard day. Um, the heaviest flat was not caught again. So the next match, the heaviest flat fish money will be 400 pound just for the heaviest flatfish at the next round that's a lot of money isn't it if you catch a nice flounder or something you can win 400 pound and that's without all your zone money and stuff um so yeah you know it was a successful match i didn't think it was as successful as it was but i'm over the moon we're, we're up there in the league we're having a good time um yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the year now. I'm kind of, I feel that I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I feel like I'm learning on each match. And, yeah, I think it's going to be good. I, I, I mean, I'm allowing for a couple of bad results. I haven't blanked yet. Touch wood. There's wood there. Um, you know, and, and you do get blanks, you know, in match fishing. It does happen. You get a dodgy pair, you don't catch anything. It happens. It could have easily have happened in this video, but it didn't. We're scraping through. We're not embarrassing ourselves, and we will keep going. Uh, I am going to film the rest of them um, this year. Uh, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to film any of the matches, but uh, people seem to kind of like it and like to watch me struggling and... Um, yeah, it's not the best quality videos. Obviously, a lot of it, I've got a wacky GoPro on me and just sort of, a, I hope you can pick up some kind of elements of what this match fishing is all about. But thanks for watching. Uh, the next one should be uh, up in a couple of weeks. So do keep following me. Do subscribe. It's much appreciated. Uh, and you can come and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Real Jimmy Willis. Thank you, gang.